Brady. Let's do her, do her, guys. Let's go. Oh, there's a butterfly. Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Robin Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob, and today I want to talk about why I love Central Oregon. And why, uh, why Rob did you leave Phoenix? You had a cute little place with a pool. We're kind of out in the suburbs a little bit. Um, but, uh, you could start, you're starting to feel the tension a little bit. And I've, uh, for those that are awakening and realizing the world is getting a little crazy you have a choice um, you know you can take faith to it too God doesn't just come along and do zap make things good for you he expects you to earn it he expects you to take action he expects you to use hindsight and foresight and uh, uh, be guided and, uh, but, um, free will is a gift that we all have. So, uh, Sherry and I have been really good about kind of being a step ahead of the game. We started prepping not too long ago and then COVID came along and it didn't affect us at all because we were prepared. And, uh, if you really... I really urge people to do some homework. Pay attention. And don't the news you're watching at five o'clock? Um, they're just doing buzz stuff. You need to watch alternative news or or uh, do a little more research to really get an idea that uh, our farmers are being screwed. Our uh, meat packing is a problem. Uh, certain packaging companies are having trouble like cans and aluminum and this could really add up to something bad and then all this money that everybody's getting for free and then they want to give out more and uh, now they're talking about a regular check for low income with no stipulations um, that just hurts more debt causes more inflation and eventually is going to be raising taxes and in the big news is all the cities big cities people are just bailing from the cities big time so the only choice they have is to try to get more money out of the federal government or raise taxes while well, sherry and i added that up a long time ago so as a result here we are it took a little time a little effort um, and what we have realized already, some of you folks may not realize till beginning of next year. We got some, some serious stuff going on. So I've been talking about self-reliance a lot. Well, the opportunity, because I've lived here before, came along where we could buy this place up here in Central Oregon again with five acres. And uh, I used to have a game bird farm, so I've done bird farming before. And if you watch older videos, you see I was really getting into gardening. And of course, we uh, have learned a lot about prepping. I'm not talking about extremism. We're not putting bomb shelters in the yard and stuff. We're just common sense stuff. Um, I think a lot of things will come in waves like, oh, there will be no chicken available for one season. There may not be any pork available for one season. And certain vegetables won't be available for one year or something. Um, and you got to be prepared and pay attention to the news and the reports that you're not hearing about which farming industries are being hurt the most, what meat industries are being hurt, hurt the most, and uh, try to counteract it. Well, Central Oregon, to me, is the perfect place for that. And it's very Americana here. Uh, there's still people off in the left, uh, way off to the left, um, but it's more level-headed, I, 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 kind of. Uh, typically, people here are Americana, patriots, uh, believe in the American flag, um, say the Pledge of Allegiance, uh, a lot of pride, 
a lot of ha uh, really good people and even with COVID they still want to shake your hand they still um, are realistic and uh, so we're pretty happy to get back up here and uh, you could feel a big burden off of our shoulders getting away from the city and I got a feeling there's a lot of you folks thinking the same way getting farther out away maybe getting a half acre or an acre if you can get more and you can do a lot with a half acre really you can you can be quite self-sufficient with food and, and everything with a half an acre um, uh, five acres we got more than enough way too much um, and uh, which is good because we got a lot of lawn and stuff so I've got a large section I can easily put gardening in and, and we are and uh, I'm trying to think ahead on water uh, we have our own well here but there's still a problem with that is the well has a tank that uses the pressurize everything once that water is gone I can't get any more if there's no electricity tomorrow I will be uh, doing another video showing you the new um, generator I'm bringing in and then I'll bring an electrician in to be able to bypass the panel to our main house uh, to power it with a generator when I need water I don't have to run that generator 24 7 to have water I mean I only need water when I need it and if I fill the tank up I can you know if I'm not t doing baths or running like that we have just regular water when that gets low again I just turn on the pump and fire up the generator uh, and also if we didn't have power for a while uh, the generator can um, be ran for a couple of hours each day to keep the freezers nice and cold and so our food is is we're not going to lose it let's put it that way and uh, we could stay on this property and not leave the property for weeks and weeks before we'd have to go to the city if we really had to and obviously you've been hearing this about bringing in chickens so we'll always have uh, after Christmas start getting our own eggs and so we still will have to go to town for certain things but um, we're not being as reliant on government or stores having a uh, being stocked if they're not we're okay and that's what I love about Central Oregon the people here are friendly uh, it's a tourist town so it can be the road can be kind of busy our main road 97 um because you know every Friday and Sunday everybody's either coming or going because they're up here camping or fishing or, or skiing in the winter <clears throat> um, but the people uh, in the outskirts of Bend, Bend has grown a lot, so it's a little bit city flavored. Even Prineville's had a little bit of city flavors as far as protests and stuff. But all in all, most people here are too busy. They're busy working their yards, working their animals, keeping care of their properties. A lot of people have acreage here. And uh, it tends to be a, a, a Republican area. doesn't make you better or worse than anybody else. Um, but it tends to be more conservative and uh, we watch Portland insanity and I watch Phoenix insanity and they're having COVID problems like something fierce uh, Seattle's insane um, and all of us out here are just like preparing and a lot of us have family that are close to the cities and stuff if shit really hit the fan um, my my family has a place to come if it really had to happen and uh, we're kind of prepped for that so uh, that's why I love Central Oregon along with the beautiful weather it can get very cold here but it doesn't rain as much as uh, say the west side of the Oregon or Washington and uh, lots of wildlife and it's climate allows you to uh, um, do the f different types of farming if you want to and growing things um, it's, it's a wonderful place to live we're glad to be back so I won't make this video too long 
but I did want to share kind of like why did you pick Central Oregon? Well, I lived here before and uh, I have nothing but good memories of Central Oregon and uh, there's several other places just as wonderful but this is this a place we know about and we've lived, lived in before so if you're thinking about getting out in this away from the city I'm not suggesting just this place but think about the future try to think ahead six months try to think a year from now what are the conditions going to be like and you can do that by doing some research on food shortages read articles read other papers read independent reports the, the reports you're not getting in your uh, you know channel 5 news um, some serious stuff is going on and uh, you better wake up um, and realize that we can't depend on government we may not be able to depend on businesses because they're hurting they're being devastated I, have you even thought about the fact that all these businesses are either working at half capacity or shut down or they keep getting turned on turned off all that um, if you owned a business and I have I don't know how these well a lot of them aren't making it that means less jobs less taxes to the city um, cause and effect think about cause and effect of everything that's going on try to stand in the shoes of a business owner and realize the impact of the area impact of the employees impact on revenues to the city um, it's going to catch up with us it's got to it's, it's just common sense and so many people don't seem to be using that common sense like they're blank it was like oh just send us more checks government checks it's not good capitalism is the best system in the whole world for people to emerge from poverty and follow their dreams is it a perfect system no but it's the best one out there so quit letting people destroy it it may sound great to get a check from the government it may sound great that we can get food rationing um, to some folks I don't know why that would sound good but um, but uh, it's not so guys thank you very much for watching I hope I didn't rattle your ear too much I uh, love you all I hope you and your dreams and your planning and the action you're gonna take is going to help you in the future I'm hoping that our little video thing we're doing here will give you ideas of it can be fun too it's very rewarding to grow your own food and do your own yard work and take care of your animals it's hard work but it beats sitting in front of the Xbox and playing games all day and then realize when you're all done you've accomplished nothing so all right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. And uh, leave your comments below. Tell me if you guys are doing anything to be proactive, to make your life better, and to protect all your family. All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.